So another thing that uh, I observed from this week, something I'm uh, getting a little sick of is I occasionally use, I am a millennial using the dating apps thing, especially now with COVID, you're not going out as much, not meeting people as much. I don't use it that seriously, but I'll do it occasionally. A lot of times when I'm bored too, it's just like pass the time kind of thing. I think it's just, honestly, it's so normalized now. It's how you meet people. Even yeah. non-COVID, I think it has to be how you meet people. Yeah. So I haven't had, I've had a few dates and they're always usually fine, like with girls, or whatever. But one thing I can't stand with uh, girls on hinge, like I hate how girls are always trying to, like they say things and everyone's trying to be interesting, right? You're trying to come up with a way to be super interesting. The girls are saying stuff that's like, Everything they say, it's all the same. So like every girl, they think they're being interesting and they're all saying the most basic shit. And the thing I can't stand is when they're like, you shouldn't go out with me if you can't handle my sarcasm. Like, oh my God, you're so sarcastic. I can't handle it. Like my head's going to explode. Like you're pulling your hair out. Like, trust me, honey, I can handle your sarcasm. And guess what? The girl who I, after I x you out, the next girl said the same shit. And I bet you're both easy to handle your fucking sarcasm. I can't stand that shit. Yeah, there is a recipe to the basic girl's hinge profile. Yeah. It's one cup of I watch The Office and here's my favorite Michael Scott quote. Yeah. A dash of I'm so sarcastic. Tie <laughs> Sprinkle that on top. <laughs> yeah. Tie in, you know, mix in and, and bake at. Me and my friends love brunching together. Oh, dude, nothing's nothing is worse than it's a uh, like like if if you're telling me your hobbies are like Netflix and chill, getting brunch and happy hour, it's like oh that's so interesting and original. Ooh, that's so exciting. It's the same shit every time. It's it's uh it's something you learn to deal with. I will say my success story of Hinge. I met Haley on Hinge. Nice. See her her Hinge profile her. stood out to me. It, it really did. She. A, and I've told her this, she knows this, she put not, she, she's way more attractive in real life than her pictures on Hinge were. <laughs> I don't know if she intentionally did it, but she put pictures that were, they just didn't show her in the best light. And I, I don't know why, but she chose pictures that were more, one of them, I think she was very drunken and almost stumbling over the other one. She was on a soccer field and just like scored a goal and was jumping in the air for joy and was, you know, in an athletic situation, you're never looking great. So it was an interesting it's a personality pick. What's your move with messaging through hinge to try and set up the, you just say, Hey, Hey. And then you just stop talking or you make a comment, a couple messages and then nothing ever happens, but nah, I don't really have a move. I'm Do not you, good. I'm not smooth over text. I'm, I'm more so saying, uh, your timeline of things. Do you message for a while before you meet someone? Nah, because it's just... I refuse. Yeah, it's just let's just go out and I'd rather figure it out in person than try to talk forever. It's, you're not going to be that interesting. Exactly. <laughs> I've, I Before I met Haley, my thing I always did is after those first couple of hey's, hey, you know, once I make sure you're a normal person, which I guess, what are you going to really say through the hinge chat? That'll set me off as if you say anything through the hinge chat that makes me think you're not normal. You really must be yeah, fucking weirdo. You just, you just really have to just not say anything super crazy. That's not, you have this in, uh, impress me. You just have to not scare me off. But I then guess. I get maybe five or six messages in and I throw out, you want to meet up and grab a drink? Yeah. And I've had girls say, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more before yeah. I make, and I'm going to lose interest in you. You're not exactly. Interesting. I literally say back to them. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm trying to meet people in person. I'm not yeah. trying to have conversations with you over this stupid. App. Right. Yeah. I agree with that. hundred percent. Did Haley fit your type? Was she your type when you saw her or was it just like, I didn't realize I had a type until Haley. And then I looked back on girls that I've dated and hooked up with and realized Haley is exactly my type. Blonde, athlete, well in doubt, let's say. Okay. <laughs> a pro a, you know, the ge a gentleman would say well in doubt. A problem I have with my type is, so I think I've just said already on the podcast, I'm not the tallest guy, but I'm not too short. I'm like a average height, perfectly average height. But I, I think, so I'm going to guess you are... We, I don't want to put you on blast. Don't under us. Don't. Five, eight. Nine. 
five nine. Yeah. I was gonna say five nine first. I said five eight, so you could correct me. Hi, right, cool. Yeah. You're welcome. Five eleven, not five nine. But but I feel like a person who's all the way up to five nine to six foot says that their average height when. I feel like if we Googled it right now, six foot would actually be the average height. No way. You don't think so? No, I don't think so at all. Look it of, up. Of American men. Look let's it up. Let's say. I'll Google it right now. Um, Keep talking. So You're on your own. A problem with that I have for my type is I love tall girls. And it sucks. So there's like, so, dude, and it's weird. The other weekend I was with, I was, uh, I said I was at my friend's house and there was a few people there. There was a girl I saw and I thought she was cute and she was pretty tall. And this is going to sound super weird, but I just looked at her and in my head, I was like, I want to fucking body slam that girl, but in the most sexual way possible. I don't know why. I don't know how to explain it, but I see a girl that's hot and tall and I'm like, I just want to RKO that girl so fucking hard. But like, it's weird. (laughs) I don't know why I like want to beat her up, but in a sexual way. If you are... (laughs) You are an interesting human. I don't know why. That's like what I think. I'm like, oh, it'd be fun to like, just like literally RKO her, DDT her. I don't know. I'm trying to think of more wrestling moves. <laughs> That's all you got. Yeah. Rock bottom her. Yeah. What's the stone cold? You want to give her, you want a stone cold stunner her? Or, uh, or what's like the, like tombstone or like the undertaker, like turn her upside down, slam her on her head. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so convinced. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I think it's like I want I want to hip toss that girl across the fucking room, but like I don't know why. I, I a little girl's con- not as it's like I it's like I feel like I'm being mean, but then when it's a tall girl, it's like oh, it's just kind of an even match. Like we can don't really ever, go at it. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Don't ever tell tall girls this because this is a tall girl's biggest fear. That's what I thought was no, but maybe they're like, well, he's not that much bigger than me, so it would be kind of an even match. They might like that. It might be like an even battle. Yes, but trust me, they don't want to be thought of as I could body. I would love to body slam <laughs> I do, that dude, That's girl. what I. That's what I think. I literally I saw this girl and that was the first thought. It's like, damn, this girl's hot. I want to fucking body slam her right now um i'll say you were uh correct also when i googled five, uh even smaller five foot seven but that's i think co- that's I'm world above average height i think you are above average i'm height. so tall i think that's worldwide i wonder if i can find the u.s number here oh man um, i'm a on, monster i'm a giant on you really are you're a big guy oh here we go it goes by country um on the uh tall girls thing really quick uh, or no, not on the tall girls thing in general. On you wanting to get your ass kicked in bed. No, thing. no, I want to be her I've ass. Said this on other <laughs> episodes. You are. I'm convinced you're going to grow up. And I hate when I do that. I, I we're 26 year old men, and I always I'm say 27. grow up. I mean age. <laughs> you're going to age and slowly come into yourself a little bit more. And I think you're going to be into the getting beat up stuff. What's no. it called? Uh, yeah, I forget what it's called, but like the dominatrix sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, are. No, I want to. No, it's it's I want to beat. I want to beat her up, but I want it to be a somewhat even matchup. I don't want to because if the girl's too small, it's like not as fun. Like, I feel like you got to be a little more careful. But a tall girl, like a tall girl, she's like, you know, five, nine, a buck 40. I don't know how much girls weigh. <laughs> I don't know if it matters. I have but, no yeah. no reference she could be like on girl 200, weight. 140, uh, 110. I have no clue. But absolutely zero reference. I have on a girl picture. Weight. I have a picture of a girl in my head who's like my height, and I could body slam her, and it's okay. Whereas if a girl's five one and she's ninety pounds, I'm gonna body slam her and break her leg or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think the issue here is that you want to body slam. If you're hot and you're tall. Let's fucking fight. That's what I, I'm saying. Yeah, you want to body come, slam. Girls come for over. Some I'll set up an octagon and we can uh, do an MMA match in my living room That's or in my it. bedroom. <laughs> Put up an octagon around my bed and I'll just be like, all right, let's go. Put the gloves on. Let's just go after it. That's what I'm going to start doing. <laughs> we need to get hey, come over for a good time. <laughs> we need to get you a girl that is down to actually try this. I think there. I think I could easily. The problem is it'll lend itself to. Like meathead chicks on steroids that are going to be like, yeah, let's go at it. <laughs> let's fucking go. I'd love to wrestle you in your bed. And then I'm going to like legit get the sh- my shit rock. Yeah, you get suck. the shit kicked out of yeah. you. Dude, uh, I don't know. It's like. I, and the problem is, <sighs> is tall girls. I'm getting turned on thinking about this. Tall girls. <laughs> tall girls never. I think we're four for four on being turned on during our episodes. Yeah. That's tall, how you do something tall, to me. <laughs> tall girls never want a guy that's shorter than them. That's the issue. I, and yeah. what sucks is tall girls don't even want 
No, gr- I, girls in general, actually, not even just tall girls. It's just harder for tall girls to find guys that because they're yeah. narrowing their field down. But any girl in general, they won't even take a guy the same size as them because they think they the heels on. Exactly. I had that issue uh, in but high school. What, what about when I have heels on around him? Yeah. I'm like, uh, are you are you kidding me? In high school, I had to prom. Uh, my girlfriend at the time, which I actually think we had broken up before at prom, but she, I did the same thing. In yeah, high school. And, I mean, we still had to go together because we already like she already had the shit. dress. Yeah. So we went and she's about my height without shoes on. So once you throw any heels on, you know, she's towering over me. So I think she wore pretty small heels to help me out. And I will admit I bought one inch lifts and put them in my shoes. Did you really? Yep. Good for you. I did it. You couldn't. No one could tell. One inch isn't enough to be like, holy shit, like you look huge. Go imagine if I put three inch lifts in my shoes and I'm like <laughs> six feet tall. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I really enormous. am so blessed to be six feet tall because I'm not freakishly tall. Yeah, you you get, six, six foot's perfect. Six five, foot, I take 5'11". I would, uh, my doctor always tells me I'm 5'11 and three quarters. Pisses, Shut up. Pisses me off. Shut Bitch, up. Bitch, why are you reading that close of it? Yeah. Just round it off. Round it the fuck off for yeah, me. Yeah, dude. But yeah, I really, it, tall people, or being, you know, at least that tall. I think if you go above, let's say 6'3", do we want to say? 6'3", you become yeah, like well, freakishly well, tall. Once you get to 6'4", then you're real tall. But some girls like that. Some girls like me really tall. But the dude, taller imagine, ones. Imagine if I was 6 foot, then I then I could fight 6 foot tall girls instead of girls that only get up to 5'9". <laughs> yeah. That would be a real good matchup. You actually would need to just, your field would be narrowed down to WNBA fighters. <laughs> That'd be sick. <laughs> I'll fight a WNBA player. Also, you, you uh, I found that by country here, you absolutely nailed it. Five nine. Five foot Holy nine is I the average height of a man. Which in the kind US. of sucks. I was hoping you say you're wrong. It's five seven, just like I said before, and I could say I'm tall. But do you want to guess what you th- what the tallest country is? Uh, it's going to be some kind of Nordic. Wow. Country. Yeah, you're like a Viking. You're kind of close. I'm going to say Switzerland. No, the Netherlands. Netherlands is I know Switzerland. I would say Nordic, and then I probably said no, something Switzerland. Else. Is it? Uh, uh, oh no, it's not. I was yeah. thinking of Sweden. Sweden. Sweden's That's what I kind of Nordic. Meant to say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what was it? The Netherlands. Yeah. Average height of a guy in the Netherlands is six foot. Damn, that's tall. Yeah. Average too. That's tall. They must Average. be monsters. Mm-hmm. Monsters. All blonde hair, blue eyed monsters. 